Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the blood circulation in the brain. As we all know, the brain is a very complex organ in our body. In order to smile, in order to think, in order to speak, we need a proper functioning of our brain. So as you all know, brain has four lobes, the frontal, parietal, occipital and temporal. Let's find out in detail about the blood circulation in brain. The three major blood vessels are arising from arch of iota are brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery. The brachiocephalic artery is divided into right subclavian and right common carotid artery. The right vertebral artery is arising from right subclavian artery. The left vertebral artery is arising from left subclavian artery. Right common carotid artery and left common carotid artery supply blood to the cerebrum and the two vertebral arteries are supplying blood to the cerebellum. The carotid artery divided into three major arteries when it reaches the cerebrum. They are anterior cerebral artery, middle cerebral artery and posterior cerebral artery. So circular villus is a connection of blood vessels and it's formed as a circle and which bypass circulation when there is any damage or block into the major blood vessels which are supplying to the brain. All right. So let's see how does the circular villus is formed in our brain. The vertebral arteries arising from two subclavian arteries on both sides. These two vertebral arteries unite to form a common artery known as basilar artery. This basilar artery is connecting with three major cerebral arteries. Cerebral arteries are branches of carotid artery and in the brain, in the cerebrum, all these branches are supplying in different areas of brain. So this is the anterior cerebral artery. This one is middle cerebral artery, posterior cerebral artery. These three arteries are connected by communicating arteries. The two anterior cerebral arteries are connected by anterior communicating artery. The posterior communicating artery which connects the middle cerebral artery, posterior cerebral artery with the anterior cerebral artery. So all these three arteries are connected with communicating artery. Now when we talk about basilar artery, so basilar artery mainly supplies blood to the cerebellum. Three main arteries are supplying to the cerebellum. Two of them are arising from basilar artery. One is arising from vertebral artery. The number one artery which is known as superior cerebral artery. The number two which is known as anterior inferior cerebral artery. Number three is known as posterior inferior artery. But these three are arising. These three arteries are giving blood to the cerebellum. In the bottom, you can see these two vertebral arteries are connected by another artery called anterior spinal artery, which supplies blood to the spine. So that's all about the blood circulation of brain. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned to the next video.